Bitcoin just reached $43,000 and Magic Eden is compensating users for another rug pull on their platform. My name is Colin. I hope you're having an amazing day. In this video, we're going to have another look at the crypto news of today. Nothing in this video is financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. Bitcoin just broke $43,000 five minutes ago. Right now it's a little down, but all the way throughout the video, we'll keep our eye on it because it's shooting up. So coin market cap is trying to update. It is about $264 over 43K. Extremely good news because Bitcoin tries to go up, up, up since the last couple of days. Ethereum hand in hand also moved above 3000 and stayed in that position all of basically last day right which is extremely good news because the market is stabilizing more bitcoin is slowly moving up and we see the traction everywhere which also means on the counter side that nft activity will become a little bit less because ethereum becomes more expensive however we do see a lot of green and that is obviously what we like to see one of the best things obviously is over 25 percent gains on almost all of the coins over the last seven days except obviously your stable coins really really big potential there uh, significance gain have been made in the top 100 even if you look here we just notice up to 48 uh, 50 percent right which for a top 100 coin here 100 percent almost on gala which is absolutely mad a uh, really bullish sign for the crypto gaming scene gala is just taking off completely after being quiet on the first initial jumps uh, quant making over 60 percent gains over the last seven days these are signals that the market is recovering properly do not cheer too fast though because things might turn south very soon who knows not me i called out super farm a couple of days ago just before it took off on a giant run over 53 percent did you get some super farm let me know in the comments down below it was definitely a good call as you can see they had a huge run up ufo gaming has been stable c defy making gains most of the actual launch pads are now announcing new listings because obviously the market conditions have changed now the market conditions have changed ideos are back on track they feel feel more comfortable having the investors trust when they're launching uh, the only launch pad that seems to be down and keep going down are fee pad as of today actually and engine starter in general right so engine starter has not been uh, doing well as of late in general uh, but vpad as well has been quite underperforming bin starter quite surprisingly took a 60 percent jump uh, being basically the best performer gainer uh, next to gammy world which i'm unfamiliar with uh, but the average still about 20 percent gain on the majority of the launch pads following the main trajectory you can definitely see that the gains are significantly less uh, in the launchpad section compared to for example the gaming section where the gains have been ridiculous right 96 and a half percent for gala 30 percent for mana 35 percent for axie 18 percent for the sandbox it's moving a little bit slower alluvium 20 percent Vulcan, i made significant gains on 55 percent everything is looking really really good and just to put it in perspective this is just the beginning for definitely i would say for the crypto gaming space right this is the first traction back on bitcoin right now where we were basically at a very low point right now it's pumping a little bit and the whole crypto gaming scene is just going insane right so definitely if you're into crypto gaming make sure you are subscribed to the channel because that is basically what we do here what we primarily cover it is definitely interesting to see that the, the gaming coins are doing so well uh, however as i said before do not stay too bullish here do not throw all the money in while it's green you should have done that two three weeks ago as i did 
but I've already taken my profits. You know, the, the green is very tempting to throw in more coins. I have a lot of stable coins still, but I'm not going to make any entries because the Bitcoin volatility, although on a seven day pattern, looking up on a monthly pattern, uh, looking at regaining, this was basically one big pump here that instilled back all the confidence, right? So I would need to see like a 45, 48, K Bitcoin before I become more confident in investing while the numbers are green, right? I rather invest while all the numbers are red, basically because I'm patient, right? Something I didn't used to be, but something I'm definitely right now. Good to see Cryo War making 30% gain today. Uh, that's definitely good to see. Altura 32%, definitely uh, one of the better calls I did a couple videos ago. But that's basically what I do, right? I spend all my day looking at crypto gaming at everything it has to offer. And the shit projects, if they're shit projects, they stay shit projects, right? I just call it how I see it. It's just my opinion at the end of the day. However, um, if you're spending four to six hours every day researching crypto gaming projects, then you definitely, I feel, in my opinion, know a lot more about things and are able to more easily uh, predict or, or estimate the probabilities, maybe a better word, because predictions are always just predictions and opinions, uh, what is going to happen or might potentially happen in uh, the future than somebody who just spends 10 minutes a day on it, right? Uh, I also want to address the Magic Eden rock pool story because I have it right here. It's a crazy, crazy story. That's what I want to show you. So Balloonsville was basically a project. Right now it has zero followers, zero following that was doing like these balloon NFTs uh, with a whitelist. And I basically scrolled all the way down, as you can see right here, to their announcement. So they launched a Magic Eden. It was sold out. Uh, balloons are going to make it. They did 6,500 Solana volume in 40 minutes. Uh, tomorrow, balloons, we're going to introduce staking. Good morning. Uh, we lied to you all. We told the staking would be set up in three days. We're actually going to do it today. 6 p.m., get your balloons ready. While we wait for the announcement, uh, we'd like to announce something else. We're looking for 3D designers. And then they announced all it took was a couple of paid actors and boom, we did it again. You all really believe anything nowadays. Magic Eden, refund everybody we scammed because you were too stupid to ask for ID, which we could have easily shown we were a rug pool. Doodle Dragons, which I think was their previous rug pool project, right? So they rug pulled twice on Magic Eden. Petition for Solana community to stop using Magic Eden. They're the biggest money hungry apes we've ever seen. They never uh, knew we were a rock because we denied giving ID, but they didn't care because they wanted their 5% from the mint. I mean, all in all, I'm laughing, but it's like super sad. This guy is a professional con artist, right? He's a criminal, basically taking innocent people their money. Uh, but Magic Eden uh, decided later when they were receiving a lot of negative feedback from the community, obviously, uh, to refund everybody their Solana. And they are basically taking the financial hit on this. But I just want to go through uh, to, 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 to jump on the gossip because this is a little bit too good to be true. Uh, this guy is just taking the piss out of everything. Red flags Magic Eden knew about, didn't care to act on because they knew the guaranteed 5% from our hype launch was coming. We denied providing ID. We have an American accent. We denied providing proof or any concept in regards to our roadmap. Anyway, goodbye. Thank you for your platform. Their account is to be taken over by Magic Eden NFT operations team. We are currently in the process of getting the contract converted to our addresses and we'll give you all some more updates shortly on steps we're taking to derog this project. Psych! <laughs> this guy is just taking the piss. We have passed this account to Yogi, the original founder of Soul Bears. He's proven to the Solana community that he knows how to run a project and we can't emphasize how excited we are to have him join us. Let's get back to a $1 sole floor price, first successful rock project of all time. Okay, then he, he's posting some screenshots about people talking with him. Solana Sensei, please, I'll pay for you to shield tweet, okay? 
So they, they, they keep exposing Magic Eden. We want to leak a package you send us, like the one where it's 25% of a mint, just to get features on your front page. Good to know you use your presence in this community to feed your pockets. Go run that dead team of yours and leech a verification mark you got. I don't even know who this is. This Obey Alliance, CEO and owner. Fellas are really on the same side as criminals and scammers. You're all fucking wild. Whoa, the Balloon Project team is so strong and brave for standing up against S. Yeah, so I don't... I don't so apparently the whole thing, uh, while I screw the, uh, scroll through this so you can read it. Um, okay, so here. We really don't know why Balloonsville woke up and decided to be the biggest prick on Solana, but we're not playing this game. We're going to focus on making changes. Okay, so let me open Magic Eden as well. Because I haven't actually looked at the Magic... I looked at the Magic Eden website. There's nothing there. No press release, nothing. Uh, but they did uh, be quite... They were quite active on Twitter. So let's have a look at their Twitter as well. In general, um, this is some kind of cunt that's trying to call out Magic Eden for their poor business practices. And I mean, if the business practices are poor, that's one way to expose them. But this is quite an exp uh, expressive way. It's criminal uh, in general, in my opinion. Uh, but I think that's kind of a fact, maybe. Uh, but in general, I mean, this is the worst way to do things. Take people's money and they have no involvement in this debate. Uh, and it looks like kind of like a personal vendetta he has against Magic Eden in general, right? So he goes on like hella rants and, and basically calling out all the people from Magic Eden. I don't know who this girl is, but apparently she's crying. Maybe she lost her money. Or she works for Magic Eden and he's making fun of her. It's kind of sad and childish in general. But this is like some mad gossip. Basically shining a light on the fact that it's so easy to do a rug pull. And also that Magic Eden is quite money hungry and doesn't dox the teams or projects properly. And they will learn a huge lesson from this, right? He is crying. What the fuck? Your <laughs> chill stop crying. If you could let go of 5,000 Solana, then refund everyone. Uh, I mean, like, it's a lot of money. And this guy is definitely uh, a thief, a criminal. But people making threats and he's just taking the complete piss uh, all, all the time. And he's directing his anger towards this lady, Tiffany. I think she works for Magic Eden and this guy as well. Which is like, he's like a proper sad cunt. But in general, like he's just continuing right now. So he just he just keeps posting um, more and more shit, right? Which I think is kind of crazy for Twitter not to take the account down or nothing like this. Maybe it's not a priority for them. But anyway, um, they have decided to de-rock balloons. So they start Balloonville 2.0. Uh, refund minters who sold below the floor offer an option for refund to holders. We consulted with members of the community and think this approach will serve the community best. Uh, good morning, we're in this for the long haul. So they basically try to save their reputation by refunding all users, which I think is the best thing they can do. Take the hit themselves. Um, but it doesn't mean that their business is now all of a sudden better. Right? I would give some respect where respect is due. So yes, they, they did make the right choice, in my opinion, to refund all the users, try to save the project as is. Uh, but it's definitely to cover their own asses, right? Because if this reputation, if this project would stand, this guy keeps on trolling them, um, they need to make some form of statement here. They also said that we're not taking, uh, we're taking one week to pause all launches. They're probably going to re-verify everything. Make sure from now on they do things properly. And I think that is one of the major, major things they should focus on. Uh, they had a bad business set up, apparently. Uh, they didn't dox the teams properly or whatever they were going to launch. And they're now going to change this. So although this guy, Kant, who did the, the rug pull, right, he did instill... The outcome that he wanted was basically to, to make people aware um, that they should not focus only on the money, but also dox the teams to make sure that these rug pulls don't happen. Kind of like a Robin Hood kind of way, but at the same time, uh, doesn't take away that he's a criminal, right, for what he has done. So... For holders we, who bought in and still believe in the project, we will de-rock the project in over 5,000 Solana from our treasury. 
same as the mint, to fund the roadmap for this project. All creator royalties will flow to a new address, not to the scammer. No, we did not sweep the floor before derugging, nor is there any insider trading. We are funding the project treasury with 5k from our own treasury. All transactions on the blockchain, we're doing this to help the community, that's it. We looked at the data and 85% of the initial balloon mints were sold for above mint price. This is why we'll only refund minters who sold below floor. We will be done via airdrop for the difference between their mint and sale price, okay. For holders who want out of the project, we will allow a burn and refund for the mint of one Solana. We are working on a yeah, so what about anybody who bought on your platform for above mint? They would take the loss. There are people who bought on the product secondary market and sold at a loss. It is a slippery slope to refund trading losses. Doing this will lead to market manipulation. Therefore, we will not refund secondary traders for their losses, unfortunately. Okay, that's strange because you're still manipulating the market by derugging a project. Finally, we're continuing with FTX official and the law enforcement to bring the scammer to justice. Uh, they also did a partial launch on FTX. Why, why are they involving F FTX? I'm not sure. Do they have something? FTX didn't make a statement. I doubt they would. They were too big, I think, to make a statement on this. But I want to know how FTX is involved. It's been a crazy day on Solana. Crazy something changed. Balloonville. Okay. Yeah, people are still quite upset to Magic Eden themselves, right? Which makes sense. I don't think um, their setup is like the best setup, but obviously panic is real. And I would assume within these tweets, we only find people backing Magic Eden because in general, why would they otherwise retweet it? Yeah, this one. Build a project to improve due diligence on new projects. Rock pool thousands of people to prove rock pools are bad. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. But like, it's quite unprofessional. We really don't know why Balloons will woke up and decided to be the biggest prick on Solana, but we're not playing this game. I mean, like, don't, don't do that. Just stay professional, right? Just say we're investigating the matter. Uh, they have the lot. They, they are posting the launchpad pricing. Okay. I assume that's public information. But they're, they're actually actively engaging with him, which I think they should never have done, right? They should just accept the rug, uh, compensate the users, but they panicked and they started like discussing things and everything. That's uh, that's that's a little crazy, right? And specifically for all of the other projects involved, it's quite sad as well. Moral of the story here, don't be a cunt criminal and rock projects with innocent people. People think I'm a rookie. I've rigged over 20 projects. I've been on the Emmy launch by three times. I mean, that's not a flex guy. Like, I'm, I mean, like, you know, you think you're a tough guy right now. But is that really worth it? Um, you got like 500k um, in terms of money. Uh, maybe he feels like a superhero right now. Um, in general, the karma will get you, hopefully. Right, that's all I'm going to say about it. Keep it professional today. Uh, I feel bad for Magic Eden, but it's a good lesson, a good business lesson. Uh, and I hope everybody involved is able to recuperate their losses because Magic Eden is just a business. This guy is just a criminal. But everybody who got damaged by this, it's obviously an extremely sad situation. I just wanted to cover this today on today's crypto news because uh, you should be aware of doxing teams, projects. I released my own project, right? I'm not going to shill it. People say like, oh, you're talking about your own project. Obviously, I am. It's my YouTube channel. But I have my entire team doxed with LinkedIn, with their Twitter, with their full names, their legal names. 
right? Which I think is extremely important. If you don't see any names, no team, no LinkedIn, uh, because people keep rock pooling projects, this is definitely uh, something that you do want to be aware of, right? Uh, and you, you should definitely focus on high quality projects because people in high quality projects have nothing to hide. They can show their face, they can show their real name because they're not gonna run away with your money anyway, right? They're there for the long term and that's what I focus on. I wanna stay positive and on a positive note, look at this beautiful chart. The only way is up, it appears, but for how long? That's what we'll see hopefully tomorrow We'll see Bitcoin on, let's say, a 45K. That would be tremendous potential. But the lesson of today is crypto gaming is the future. We're super bullish. Buy the dip always on the crypto gaming, just my opinion. Keep your eye on Magic Eden if you're going to participate in any projects there. And watch out for rock pools. That's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.